As you can tell, it's raining in my studio. You can hear the rain on the roof, but I absolutely love it. So much atmosphere. I cannot wait to share with you all the things that happened this week. I was able to do a glaze load, and these are the test results. Everything that you can see on the table is something you've seen in a video before. So I can't wait to share it with you. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Here we go. Okay, my goal is to fire that baby tonight and get it going. I have a few more things I need to glaze, and I am ready to rock and roll. I fired for 15 hours, 43 minutes. It's 58 degrees in here. And let's crack this baby open. It is a bisque load, so it's not always wildly exciting. The simple little dishes that I made last week, all dried and fired to Kono 4, ready for me to put glaze on. bucket and I don't even know what it is I don't know if it's porcelain and I don't know if it's glaze so I'm just gonna put an O and a B on here for orange bucket and then uh, I am gonna cover this also with that same glaze to see if I can see through it if it's the, I'm not sure if it's a transparent or if it's actually just like I said clay I came out here yesterday and there was an error and it was at 2,000 degrees. I don't know when the error hit or if this review button actually tells me, but if I go here to review, it says cone six, power failure at 2149. Speed fast, hold, 10 minutes, delay. So at 2149 is when my power had its challenge. It fired, it's not on here, but it actually fired for 10 hours. So I think that's what that, programmable thing is telling me right now, but let's just see how everything turned out. Interesting, that is actually my cone six cone. Um, I didn't have any more cone fives and I figured that would tell me basically. I know it at least went to cone five because that's starting to bend. The most interesting thing I wanted to find was this didn't even bend at all, but it's also not white. So I'm not sure what that's telling me. I'm gonna probably fire it again when I do the next high fire. I'm just gonna hold this to the side for a bit. This is how the black porcelain turned out. I cannot believe how great this turned out. I'm so excited to get started using it. This is the white porcelain. Uh, it's not as white as I thought it would be, but then again, it also didn't fire up to cone, so there, there still could be more to it. I used um, the Celadon Mixing Clear, and that is the shiny side of each piece here. Um, they turned out really great. I have a, a matte side, which is unglazed, and then this. This one is the one that I thought was Colonial White. This one is the Orange Bucket. I found out this actually is Colonial White. This one, the Mystery Bucket that had absolutely no, nothing on it, Looks like it is a, uh, a gloss clear, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. It looks like it does okay at comb five. 
Fern Mist was Fern Mist. The orange, this was the orange bucket, and that is my transparent matte glaze. And I did a little bit of underglaze and, and on, on the bottom and covered it, and it definitely is my matte glaze. Well, this was exciting. My porcelain shrunk a quarter of an inch. Okay, this was an interesting test. I really want to be able to create textures with slip, but I also wanted to see about adding my underglazes to the same slip and finding out, you know, how that works. I want to share an example of what this slip piece looked like before. Uh, here's the before. It had uh, some slip texturing on it, and here's the after. And I really like this, so I, there's something I'm going to be doing with this. I'm going to be expanding on this thought a little bit more. I'm really happy with how the slip worked. I like combining my dots in the slip. That's something I wanted to make note of. Um, I'm really happy with it. Not that I would look at that and go, ooh, I love how it looks, but I'm really happy with the test result because the texturing is what I wanted, um, I was really looking for. The colored slip, the textured slip, and I'm just really happy with these results. This was a real successful test of my brown stoneware. Uh, I put two glazes I'd never used before. This one is Blue Surf by Mako. I, I don't know how well you can see it. Let me zoom in here. It is a gloss, so it's a little difficult to see, but I think it turned out great. This one is Fern Mist. I used this most recently, uh, probably about seven years ago, on my 365 project. Uh, I love how this one turned out. I'm so excited, which has now caused me to want to use and keep my brown stoneware. These are my little relaxation dishes. When I make these, they're just so relaxing. That was also part of this glaze look. Before I go, I wanted to share an answer to someone's question on how I, where I got my molds from. I don't use plaster. I prefer to make it out of clay and then bisque fire it and use it then because it will still absorb moisture. Uh, this one right here I threw on the pottery wheel and I just trimmed it smooth on the top. Same with this one, threw it on the pottery wheel and just trimmed it real smooth. And this one right here I actually did in another video and I'll just put a link below. I'll just put uh, hump mold demo and go ahead and click that and I'll share how I did that. This one right here was actually just uh, a chunk of clay I put on the wheel and trimmed the bottom then I scooped out the inside here to create a texture. If I wanted to use that as a texture I could but I wanted to make it a little thinner so when I put it in the kiln uh, there wouldn't be any cracking and I wouldn't have a challenge with it. Well, that's it for this week's Hobby Potter Weekly. Thank you guys for watching. Come on over to the Facebook group if you want to participate in this month's project. I cannot wait to do it. I'm going to do that. I, I really want to do that first thing next week. And then also, if you have any questions, post them below. I'll be happy to try and give them the best answer I can. And subscribe if you're looking forward to seeing future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.